Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of my 50 states of treasure hunting series. In this series, I'll be visiting all 50 states in the US, plus all five territories. I already have a couple of the states done and Puerto Rico's done as well. If you guys are interested in watching those, make sure you check out my 50 states playlist and you can access that just by searching around on my channel there. So the mission for this series is to visit all 50 states and five US territories, doing some sort of treasure hunting in each place. Uh, I'm currently in Alaska doing some treasure hunting up here. And thank you guys for the invitations. I'll be meeting up with a few people here in Alaska. And if you have a cool metal detecting or gold prospecting or any kind of treasure hunting area that you'd like me to come and visit, uh, make sure you send me an email. There's a link in the thing for my email. Anyway, I hope to hear from you guys and thanks for watching. What's up everyone, good morning. Today I'm coming to you from Ketchikan, Alaska, uh, the salmon capital of the world. And I think we're gonna go out there and explore a little bit. I'm still on a cruise ship right now. Uh, this is the Norwegian Jewel. I know it's overexposed, but I have it set to this setting right here with all the darkness in behind me. Also, big thanks to Kelly Ashworth and Jason from Ray's Eyewear. You guys just became brand new Major Credit Patreon supporters. It's because of you guys that I can go on these trips like this. Right now I'm on the Norwegian Jewel, and it's a it's a pretty nice time. So um, tonight I'm gonna do some whale watching. Um, we're on our way from Ketchikan, Alaska, up to Juneau. And once we get up towards Juneau, we're supposed to get some uh, wildlife activity. So I'll try to get some of that on camera with a, a different lens, of course. But yeah, thanks again, Kelly and Jason. If you guys are interested in Ray's Eyewear, make sure you check the link in the description. There is a discount code. Anyway, we're gonna get off the boat. We're gonna go explore around a little bit and maybe I can slap a video together. Hope you enjoy it. So I did some research on this city of Ketchikan, Alaska, and it's the salmon capital of the world. There's like a lumberjack festival thing here as well. And I just got off the cruise ship and started walking down the street because there's a geocache out this way. Um, I left my pan and everything on the boat. We're gonna save that for the next video. So I did find a geocache right back here. So I'm walking down the street and the first person to see me is like, hey, you got a cigarette? I'm like, I don't smoke. And uh, then I'm, another guy is like, hey, f you, Brian. I'm like, I'm not Brian. Your first one in Alaska. I'm sure there'll be more for the day. Um, I think we're just gonna walk around and geocache for a while. This is a really good way to find little local spots and stuff and get screamed at by locals. It'll be it'll be pretty awesome. You go to geocaching.com and you can it's free and you go there and you um, you get the GPS coordinates to these hidden containers all over the world. And inside there'll be a little there's always going to be a piece of paper. Sometimes if you're lucky there'll be a pencil. You sign it, you replace it. Always hide it exactly back where you found it and then you log it. This one's called Cash and Dash. Found it. Thanks for the cash. You could write anything you want, but there you go, number 2620. First one in Alaska. I've earned a souvenir. Yeah, let's go explore around a little more, see what kind of trouble we can get into. So our next stop is at another geocache right in this area here, saying 30 feet away. I'm guessing that it's gonna be in these rocks somewhere, probably right in this area here, maybe even by the stop sign. So I'm having difficulty finding this geocache. As you can see right here, it's a difficulty one only. However, the giveaway is the terrain, 3.5 terrain, and then it's a small size geocache. Now the only 3.5 terrain in this area it's gonna be up there somewhere. So, here we go. All right, so we are getting closer. The geocache should be in this area. Ah, here it is. Nice. So this is a small container. This is considered a small. The one that we found earlier in the pill bottle, that's considered a micro size. But what's inside a geocache? Like I said, it's always gonna be a log book. Sometimes if you're lucky, a pen. And in a larger size container, there's usually little trinkets and sometimes coins and things. But yep, we gotta sign it, log it, 
and continue on. This log book is soaked. I'll try with the pencil. There we go. Okay, off to the next one. All right, so that geocache was right over in that corner there. And I looked across the parking lot and I saw this, looks like a trailhead here. And I checked my GPS app and sure enough, there is a geocache or two up there. So this is a little more my style other than walking through the city. Yeah, the Ketchikan Gateway Borough Rainbird Trail. You can pause it or play it at you know, half speed or something to get all this if you want. I'm gonna read it after I turn the camera off. But yeah, let's go check it out. Hey, it's easy to run up these steps. At least there's oxygen here, unlike in Colorado. I think my elevation is, well, that high. That is sea level. All right, the trail now turned into steps, wooden steps. Look at these giant slugs everywhere. That's a big one. So that sign says that we are in a rainforest and yeah, it sure is. I know I never would have expected to see a rainforest in Alaska, but this is a temperate rainforest. And you know, the mushrooms here would be awesome. Mushroom foraging here would be great. If it wasn't for geocaching, I would never have found this place. Okay, the next geocache is like 73 feet down that way. Let's do it. Check out that log. This is like big pieces of Sitka spruce. I used to use this stuff to make guitars. This is all guitar building. Well, not this stuff is completely rotten, but these trees were, these trees are perfect for making acoustic guitar tops. The bigger ones anyway, Sitka spruce. So there was a geocache somewhere down on this slippery wet hillside. Um, was not able to find that one, but that's okay. Sometimes you can't find them all. All right, let's keep going here. The trail goes this way. Got about another, I don't know, two tenths of a mile to go and the trail should end. One nice surprise is that I thought we were gonna have tons of mosquitoes up here, and I haven't seen one yet. I should be knocking on wood. I'll knock on a tree here. I, you know, but I was under the impression that there'd be billions of mosquitoes around. I haven't seen any yet, at least not in this part of Alaska. Uh, hopefully we can keep it that way. Even if we do get mosquitoes, I don't care. Good training, right? So unfortunately, I think we're getting towards the end of the trail here. Uh, there is a geocache hidden somewhere close by. Let's see. Yeah, the app says 300 feet. 300 feet straight ahead. Now that is a tree and a half. Look at this. <laughs> Look how big this is. That's crazy. I think that's a big cedar tree. That's a huge cedar tree. The biggest one I've ever seen. And then there's another one just over here. That one's dead. But look at that. My first time in Alaska. This is pretty cool. Even the logs have trees growing out of it. There's another big one laying down over there. 
I got a new favorite state. Okay, so this geocache is right in this area here. The hint is stay dry. That could mean a few things. That could mean it's up off the ground. Stay dry. There's a bridge over there. Maybe it has to do with the bridge. And the coordinates keep jumping around. Right now it says 40 feet. It's gotta have something to do with the water. Up above the water, I don't know. I'm gonna guess it's under the bridge somehow. Maybe on the other side there's more access or something. Let's take a look over here. You might not be able to see it. Right there. The geocache is hiding right there. I gotta go around the other side here. There it is. Ah, log book, cards. All right, we got some tradable swag in there. There's one there. It's got a code on the other side that you can track this thing. I don't want to show it on camera. Right, so this geocache had all kinds of stuff in it. Uh, these are a little path tag things. There's two of those in there. This is actually trackable too. This is a travel bug. There's another travel bug. This is a geo coin. I really like this one. Um, I'm not going to show the codes on these because you're not supposed to track them unless you actually have found them physically. So I don't want to give that part away. Um, also, you can take these if you want, but as long as you put them in another geocache, that's fine. Now for stuff like this, if you wanted to take it, you would have to you know, take something and leave something. But when it comes to travel bugs, you can just take them and track them and put them in another geocache. So I think I'm gonna take, let's take this one here. The little stormtrooper, and we'll bring him up north. I'm gonna take this up north as well. We'll drop it in a geocache up in maybe Skagway or Anchorage or something. All right, now we just gotta sign the log book. What is today, 731, 19, You can follow me on geocaching if you want. I'll put a link in the description to my profile. There we go. Put all this stuff back. Okay guys, um, that was pretty cool. Uh, I never would have found this trail if it wasn't for geocaching. Um, they're not a sponsor or anything, but there is a link in the description if you're interested. It's completely free. Um, you can follow me over there as a friend if you want. That way you can see all the geocaches that I've found and all the ones that I've actually hidden if you wanted to go find them for yourself. So I just found my first mosquito here. Don't forget to join me on social media, Facebook and Instagram. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead and do that. I put out a new video every three days. That's all I got today from Ketchikan, Alaska. Thanks for watching.